Hi everyone. So I'm just getting ready. I don't know where to look. I don't know whether to look there or to look there. Do you know what? I actually really miss my lashes. No, you don't. What do you guys think? I know some of you are really against the lashes. Um, <laughs> And to be fair, like looking back now at old footage, some of the lengths I went to were extreme. We can't all have lashes like you, Mario. Look at his lashes. Can we get a close up on these lashes? Can I put mascara on your lashes? Just, I, you know I've wanted to do this for a long time. Now we're here, I feel like we all want to see this. You know that with a bit of mascara, oh! Do you know why you're agreeing to this? Because Mario likes to be pampered and he'll take it in any form he can. You look like you've got extensions. When I get extensions, <laughs> this is the look I'm trying to go for. Oh my God, it's beautiful. <gasps> I had to take everything off yesterday because I had an MRI, but don't worry, I'm good. Everything's okay, I just had to have an MRI um, and you're not allowed to wear like any pieces of metal. So yeah, I had to take everything off. I felt really naked. Um, <laughs> I just want to say hi because it's been a little while. I just needed a break, you guys. I'll be honest with you. I've suffered from burnout a few times before, definitely had it last month. When it comes to me with burnout, like I just, doesn't matter how exciting it is. You know, let's go to the water park. Usually, love that. When I've got burnout, nothing in the world will motivate me to do it. It's really, it's a really weird feeling and I don't like it. Like, as soon as I start getting that way, the best thing for me to do is just completely change environment, which is why we went to Greece to just kind of chillax, switch everything off, just really take time for myself, sleep well, take in some vitamin D, try and get my mental health back on top and try and get that creativity back as well. And I feel really good now. I'm kind of easing my way back in because I know in the past I've just kind of gone from like doing nothing to doing everything again and then the cycle like happens again in a few months. But Greece was really fun. Um, Mario got injured early on, which is classic Mario. What does he do? We go to an adults only hotel, right? Which, so, which by the way, doesn't mean what we think it means. Adults only hotel for me was like, just quiet. But that's not what it means. <laughs> I think other people had a different interpretation of adults only, which meant naked. We saw way too much ass on this holiday. <laughs> yeah, and also adults only means that obviously you don't state the obvious like you do to children. So you don't have no running by poolside. There's sharp things that stick out. You avoid them because you're an adult. Mario, he jumps into a one metre pool like this, smacks his knee, can't walk for the rest of the trip. And to be honest, you still can't walk properly. I can do this. Lovely. So this is like your most, your normal walk, nothing's gone on. Yeah, I walk into a bar. Keeping it cash. Yeah, just walking in. Come out of play, that was crush a lot. Oh, yeah. Mario evacuation. Mario, make your way to the door. Like, my knee actually is fine. There's just one small thing that I can't do. Yeah. Which is bend it. <laughs> I just can't bend it. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you and how I've been feeling because I've just been, my brain's just, it's just not been me. Like I've been cloudy, like in a funk, just not excited for anything, which is, I get really frustrated at myself because I'm not like that. I'm not like that as a person. I get excited about everything. So I always know something's not quite up when I don't feel that way. I just feel like 2020 has just been such a heavy year for all of us. And I think that combined with me always trying to bite off more than I can chew and overloading myself like it's just felt really overwhelming so I just wanted to be honest about how I was feeling and why I took a break because I know I'm not the only one that's feeling this way um, but for me I'm just gonna ease my way back into things I'm gonna go to the gym now and I'm actually excited about it wow look at the bright yellow
Don't know. We're going to our favourite part in the gym, which is the rolling, the rolling section. So hot. Okay, sorry. Can I speak? Sorry. Are sorry. you, you done? You can speak. <laughs> it's so, so hot. <laughs> so I just finished my gym session, which was super light. You guys saw I only spent like 20 minutes on the bike. Then I just did some core work. Basically, I have a back injury, like a lower back injury. That's why I had to get my MRI done because we don't know whether it's spinal, we don't know whether it's just muscular, we just don't really know. I feel kind of sore today and that's kind of why I haven't really been filming any like Instagram stuff or like workouts on YouTube because I'm not moving how I want to move like I don't want to promote any like wrong technique for anything so that's why I haven't really been posting but when I feel better and I can hit the weights again I'm gonna train with my restart training program which is <laughs> basically built for this it's built for anyone who takes like a break from the gym wants to get back into it ease their way into it so that by the end of the eight weeks you feel like tip-top performance and you've got really good mobility and flexibility because there's those sessions in there too. But like you ease your way into it. So you start off with like three days a week. So it's not like intimidating, but then you get like stronger and you have mobility, flexibility sessions in there. So you are taking care of your body as well, which is just what I need, but also like, <laughs> it's what everyone <laughs> it's needs. It's what everyone needs. So yeah, I'll get back to that when I'm feeling like better and I can move better. But now we're gonna have some lunch and we're gonna wipe off our sweat because it's so freaking hot outside. So we're gonna do a couscous salad. So like couscous with like lots of veg and then we have some chicken skewers in the oven that are cooking. I feel like we've had so much Greek food that um, like cooking our style feels really weird. <laughs> Baklava. Baklava. Um, Galado bureko. Make that accent. Doro mamu ine Natasha. Buine i toaleta se bragalo. Mate, I told you the good stuff. Um, uh, um, uh, oh, um, oh, ime i filanada du Mario. After kinio, desera bende exif tauto. Okay, we get it. You get the point. Yeah, we get it, babe. I can count. I always want to go to a country and be able to speak something. I just feel like out of respect, I need to learn some, like some of the language. Yeah. This is an absolutely massive portion for two people. I mean, who's eating here? <laughs> Have I got food stuck in my teeth? Look that way. <laughs> Do you know what? Sometimes Mario doesn't tell me that I have food in my teeth and he leaves it for hours. Meanwhile, I go off speaking, smiling to other people. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, by the way, there's a little bit stuck in your teeth. And I was like, how long have you known that for? And he knew from the beginning. I love you. I love you too. You're giving yourself a little pep talk off camera. You can do this. Why am I crying? You can do this. Your back is going to be okay. Yeah. You're going to be back. Yeah. It's okay. It just feels really annoying because... <laughs> I want to create like good fitness content, but I can't move. <laughs> it's okay. We love you. I don't even feel like funny. <laughs> you just... <laughs> Come on, we can do this. Yeah, yeah. Love you. Oh, um, yeah. It's going to be okay. You're the best. Oh, yeah. Who's the best? You. No, who's the best? You. Who's the best? Me, I love you all that. Who's the best? Me. <laughs> That's the answer. You're strong. Yeah. Ooh. Show me them muscles. I haven't seen Mario cry since Steven Gerrard slipped at the Chelsea game. Boxing. 
That's the last time You're he bringing cried. bringing up the bad memories, <laughs> the football the, memories. That's the last time he cried. See, important stuff. Yeah, Come important on. Stuff. Your career's not important, but football. Football's important, it's true. We look so tanned. You look tanned. And you changed your hair to go with the tan as well. I did. I, um, I got it just a little bit less ashy and a little bit more golden. When I first got it, it looked ginger, um, but it kind of washed out. Like Nicole Kidman, Moulin Rouge, but doesn't suit me. We, we figured that out quite quickly. I came out of the salon and I was like, Mario, what do you think? And he was like, um, we can re-dye it, right? <laughs> you guys know, I've been blabbing on about doing the box splits for, how long has it been? Well over a year. I can't even believe I've been telling myself I'm gonna do the box splits, because I'm not training for them. And in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do it, but I'm not doing anything about it. So now, I'm actually gonna do something about it. I mean, I can't really train that much because my back anyway, so I'm just gonna try and do the splits. There's a limit to how much being flexible improves your performance. Like, I don't need to be that flexible. I just wanna know what it's like for my crotch to hit the ground. I'm just curious. I just want to do it for myself. I'm gonna do that right now, but I actually wanted to show you this cactus because this is our new addition to the family. You guys know, massive cactus fan. I love this cactus. It just spoke to me. Me and Mario saw it in the shop and we were like, yes. Before I start, I just want to show you guys how little progress I've made in a year on my box splits. <laughs> I need to call myself out, you know, because I've been bullshitting, I've been bullshitting you all. I've been bullshitting myself, to be honest. <laughs> Mario, so um, I just want to measure my crotch to floor length. What does that mean? How do I do that? What here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that 42 centimetres? 42 is pretty bad. But that's what we're working with. I've actually been told by several gymnastics coaches that it's probably unlikely that I'm going to hit the box splits. And it actually motivates me to do it more. Like if someone says you can't do it, especially with the box splits, it's like, hold my leads hard. In a public gym, just make sure you have squat proof leggings. Do you know what? One thing I always do when I stretch is hold my breath. I, I don't know why it's like pain management or something. It's not good. You're supposed to like keep breathing. I'm like blacking out whilst I'm doing a stretch. As well as holding my breath, I also start to sweat profusely from my hands and feet which I used to get so embarrassed when I was doing gymnastics at school. You would literally see like footprint traces of everywhere I'd been in the gym. And I used to get really embarrassed about it. I actually have hyperhidrosis in like my hands and feet. Um, but yeah, to try telling that to like kids, they don't get it. They just think you're a freak. <laughs> So now we're gonna do some PNF stretching. Um, this is definitely the most painful one. Do we not have a different angle that we can try? I think this is the best angle. You got a good ass, Mario. You gotta show it. There's no dignity on this channel. <laughs> Your feet are soaking. I'm nervous. They're literally dripping. That one's dripping and this one's glowing. <laughs> you got it. Stop looking at my ass. It's the only thing that gives me comfort. Go on, Tash. Go on, Baba. <laughs> okay, that's it. Ow. I don't know if I can do more. I'm <laughs> like sweating and trembling. Yeah, I'm happy. What I want to do, just lastly, is measure the new crotch to floor ratio uh, length. We're trying to beat 42 centimetres. I mean, it's so far off the ground. Yeah, I mean, it can't be worse. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure that if I stand, I'm only like 60 <laughs> centimetres off the ground. I mean... That's 38 centimetres. 38. 38, yes. I'm happy with that. You have a long way to go. I'm going to call this day one. Forget all the other day ones I've had, because um, there have been uh, so many, so many day ones. You know, it's like, okay, now I'm going to start. Now I'm going to start. Now I'm going to start. <sighs> I like feeling like I'm achieving something. That's why I like doing the stretching. Now my back's kind of 
put a spanner in the works. Mm. It's just nice having another challenge that's really challenging. Nice. How long were you thinking <laughs> this gonna take? My coach said. The same I, coach who said that you couldn't do it? No, this is a different coach. Oh. This coach believes in me, Shameen. Shameen said that if I do it every day, I could possibly do it in six months. If you do it every minute of every day, you maybe could do it Potentially. before you die. No, 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 no. I have to capture this on camera, right? Because uh, like a year and a half ago, we did a Q&A and the question was, what annoys you the most about Mario? And you said nothing. And I said, nothing. I said, nothing. it's like the sounds that he makes, like some of the jingles that he just randomly com comes up with. Like at the moment, it's Bish Bash Bosh and Bob's your uncle. That's not what annoys That's me. That's not annoying. That's not what annoys me. What annoys me is his profound denial of making those noises. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> you always I've deny it. I've never made it. any noise of any kind. <laughs> <laughs> I've never made a noise. I'll be like, can you stop making noise? And he's like, what noise? What noise? <laughs> noise. Like you don't realize you're doing it. In our quest for more cacti. Yes. The cacti. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You I want them all. I want this one, this one, this one, this one. Stunning. Stunning. They all look good, really. We're trying to decide which one to get. I like the one in the middle. Same. Nice. That one? Yeah, that one. Like the cool And then our pots and a little succulent that Mario chose. She looks good, man. I put a seatbelt around the plants because they need to be safe, you know. All tucked in. How am I supposed to tell where I'm going? Get that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> At some point in your life, go right. <laughs> I <laughs> got it out of the pool. Oh god. <laughs> oh, she's nice. She looks like her sister. In the other room, not you, not oh. you. The one in the other room. <laughs> so we've decided to put it here where we can see it every day next to our workspace and next to the YouTube plaque as well. Um, so yeah, it's looking good. I actually wanted to show you um, one of the things I was doing on my iPad. Because you know when I did the house tour, in our apartment, the small little bathroom or toilet looked like an airplane toilet. So when we were on our trip, I took a photo from the airplane and I'm trying to do something artistic with it. I don't really know yet what I want to do with it, but, but I basically took this photo when we were flying over the Greek islands. And I really like it. I think I'm going to use it as my inspiration to do some kind of artwork to go in that toilet. I actually also edited it completely differently here. And I just made it like really orange and played with the colours, which honestly, like I also really like. I felt like it was really creative. It kind of gives me anxiety though. Does it's it? Like everything's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where I've been the last few weeks, just taking life really slow, trying to look after my mental health, looking after my back as well. Um, that's why I've been a little bit quiet on Instagram and YouTube, but I missed you guys. And I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today. And if you did, make sure to give us a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you guys very soon. Love ya, bye. Wow, that wow. is such a sunset. Amazing. That is wow. These guys getting in on the action. I can't stop filming it. Like, I never want this moment to end. I know, I mean, I can't blame the you. Whole time, you please. do it, guys, do it, guys. Take those gram shots. Take it for the gram, take it for the gram. No one can believe it. That's amazing. You have yes, to. you have to, you have to. I mean, if it's annoyed, not- I'd be annoyed if you didn't. Exactly. This is some, I mean, I mean, 
This is unreal. Just stunning.